it is Victor, I'm here with a new weekly painting and this time we are going to paint really something that I have never did before in the channel that we are going to paint this Copic seed that are from the Rock Trader, okay? So I have already, uh, we have two from the Rock Trader and I will show you how I do them in an easy, fast way again, for all these type of things I like to go for uh, speed painting and I'm going to start with Lid Belcher you, I, I prime them in white by hand, okay? Um, I think it's okay, and now we are going to apply uh, two layers of lip belcher, okay? Um, one layer will not be enough, because the lip belcher, you see, that will, um, because I prime it in white, it's going to not um, have the best addition. If you want to improve that, um, use um, spray priming or with airbrush, and you will have a better addition of the, um, of the paint or better um, grip. So, but, okay, I'm going to do this, I do two layers, okay, and I will be back for the next step, um, once it had dry. Okay, when we have applied lead belcher, now I'm going to take a uh, rattling beam and I'm going to do the, um, the seat, it seems, right, this part. I, this will help me to give this give a weathered look to the seat, and this is why I prime in. This was the reason I prime it in white because I wanted to to do the, to apply this color to give this um, washed weathered look to the seat. Okay. Now we need to be careful that we don't miss any white part and that we apply uh, quite nicely all over the, the seat. Okay. So I'm going to do this. I will wait a little bit that it dries and then I'm back for the next step. Okay, so this is how the seat looks like now, okay? I like this uh, weathered look, yeah, the metal is looking too flat, so now we are going to apply new oil on the metal, okay? Um, just to give some shading. I will avoid the parts where I want to go gold, like the eagle, so I will apply it there, and I will go all at the bottom and I will apply it so what you want to create some shading make it the, the metal is looking very flat so you want to create some and especially this grid here you want to look the inside like that okay and again we will need to wait that this dries so but we can start working on, on the other parts so I'm going to take agarus dunes and I will apply this on the Eagle and the back console and the consoles on the. So we'll apply agarzons here. We have we have to be careful because I didn't look wait. Okay. Here. And we don't need to forget that also the front. I can apply this as well on the controls 
or the consoles that we have here at this seat. I think this gives a look of more like unseen technology or something like that. And now, yeah, we need to wait at all these device for doing any other step. So we would like to do <coughs> some small details here on this console, on these controls, okay? So I waited this device and I'm back for the next step. Okay, so this is how it looks like now. You can see, I like the weathered look on the seat. Um, as I said, I will not... Um, it's, um, um, here we see all the wash. I will not spend too much time on that. You can add some uh, highlights if you want, but uh, what I will do now is I will show you how to use the some technical paints to to have this to do as you have a screen or something like that. And I'm going to apply silver on on the screens. Okay, so I'm going to apply silver mainly here. And I'm going to apply it in a couple of buttons. This one here and this one here. We can give some colors. We can also apply silver on the on this, some of these on the floor. As this will end up a little bit polish. <coughs> because the person will st stay there. So the friction of the will help to give a little more of volume okay. and as again this is terrain and normally on terrain I don't go as it hell as on the miniatures I will wait a little bit that the silver is completely dry. So I will take Auric Armor Gold and I will highlight what I want to do with the Auric. Is I want to give some like that and now I'm going to apply it like that and I will make the, the eagle to pop up a little bit Okay. Now I'm going to do the displays. So I'm going to use for the green, I will use this one. This is the waystone green. I'm going to do the, the screen. Now what you want to do is to you add a little bit more in some parts. Okay. 
to make it dark and then I will do one of the buttons like that and I will do another button in red and for the red I prefer to use in that case um, blood for the blood god in this type of terrain I will not add rust or anything like that because I will in, in think that this is more or less a part that is used and is maintained and I just want to give this weathered look on the um, part where we have the, the, the soft part of the seat okay? and that's all, so this is a very fast way to do these seats and uh, just to have them ready for tabletop um, I will paint the base completely black because I don't like how it looks like now and that's all, so this will be the end so I hope you have enjoyed this one, a fast tutorial, very quick job on how to do this type of um, yeah, these are like the Copic seat or something like that and that's all for now, so please give a like if you have liked it, share if you think other people can be interested and as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later, bye!